And I think this is important to act now because it will have a ripple effect into the future. A community outcry in Kailua affecting everyone from residents to tourists and to even business operators. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kenny Choi. And I'm Laura Yamada. Well, no commercial business at Kailua Park. That's what some residents want. That means no vendors pushing kiteboarding, windsurfing, kayaking, and so on. And it seems there is a chance they might get their wish. From Castle Hospital to Hamakua Drive, dozens of sign waivers made their mission clear. We just want to ensure that our parks are for recreation and families and not for profit. A battle over commercial vendors at Kailua's beaches and parks has boiled over in recent months. Residents well aware of their increasingly shared space. Over the years, you see a little bit more and more um, tourist kayaks and a lot more tourists, which is, which is good for Kailua. So earlier this month, the city council already passed a bill into law that on Sundays would ban commercial activities out here. But some groups felt it wasn't enough. We've got a lot of phone calls. We've got a lot of emails. Kailua Council member Ikaika Anderson drafted a new bill now limiting the number of commercial vendors to just two at each park. Two weeks ago at a community meeting, this is the response he got to that. No, no. After talking with the community, they made clear that they wanted the number to be zero. Make that no permits issued, no commercial vendors allowed, and no big buses dropping off throngs of tourists. Yeah, I can see an increase in the amount of tourists being dropped off in Kailua along our beaches. And I think that our infrastructure cannot handle this, this amount of people. I took that back. I talked to my staff. And tonight, Anderson says he's doing exactly what these constituents have asked for. He just hopes the rest of them agree. What we're looking for here is to be able to provide some balance. It's a small town, so it's good for a lot of the businesses. Um, but at the same time, it, gets, it does get a little nuts, so especially on those really nice days. Now, last year, banning vendors on Sundays won unanimous approval from other city council members. Anderson says he has not shopped around this stricter bill to his colleagues yet, but he expects to get the draft done sometime next week.